Now, this strategy all part of the 2024 budget. CTV's Kamal Karamali is standing by with the latest on that. Kamal, thanks for joining us. And uh, tell us a little bit more about what we're seeing in the government's housing plan. Yeah, that's right, Roger. So uh, as you heard there, the idea is to build uh, at 3.9 million homes by 2031, as well as Trudeau mentioned uh, that uh, part of the plan is uh, in hopes that no Canadian will pay more than 30 percent of their income towards a new home. This is part of uh, what the 28-page document specifically on housing uh, released today to the public and to media uh, showed and will be included in the 2024 budget that is set to be tabled on Tuesday. So uh, some of the highlights, as you mentioned, is uh, really focusing around construction. So training more builders and workers, making it easier for foreign builders to get involved and boosting productivity through other means. Uh, so increasing the speed overall, the way w in which these ho uh, homes are built, uh, Trudeau and uh, uh, Minister Sean Fraser and Christian Freeland also making a call to action to municipalities and provinces saying they need to step up with plans on their own, expanding tax incentives for home building as well and earmarking more money on the municipal and provincial levels towards uh, construction companies and, uh, and uh, cutting some red tape when it comes to building some of these homes, Roger. All right, what kind of a response are we getting from the opposition and people in the industry? Yeah, that's right. And so, uh, you know, we are hearing from opposition leaders as well as critics saying, uh, look, a lot of these policies are applying to new homes and the building of new homes. And that's really what confuses them, because as you very well know, uh, most of us, uh, uh, at least you and I, you know, we own homes and uh, that's uh, a lot of Canadians do as well, who might be looking to resell their homes or put their homes back on the market. There's little in there in terms of aiding them financially as well. Have a listen to what uh, one anal analyst had to say. I don't know if it's going to make it more affordable. I think it will make home ownership more achievable. There is a slight difference there. Um, my concern is more that it's being restricted to new construction homes, which sometimes can mean that they're buying now and not taking possession for four or five years. Whereas, you know, we have a chronic housing shortage that's quite severe in major urban centers. People need homes now. Yeah, so you heard part of the uh, criticism there. Uh, two other uh, notes, uh, Roger, in terms of what's already been announced. The 30-year amortization for first-time buyers on new homes also uh, set to be part of uh, the budget in that uh, right now, uh, you know, uh, new homeowners, if they can't put 20% down on a new home, uh, they can uh, spend maximum 25 years repaying uh, that the bank for that home, but they're extending that to 30 years. Also, uh, the government planning to double the amount uh, new homeowners can take from their RRSP to put into paying for the down payment of a new home or condo from 35000 to 60000 So uh, just some of the policies that, are, that we're expected to see on Tuesday. Back over to you. Okay. CTV's Kamal Karamali. Thank you for that. You're welcome.